So new insight about the relationship between Obama and Romney uh, is has come to light, um, according to a new memoir by strategist David Axelrod. He was uh, basically recounting the night that Romney called Obama to congratulate him on winning his uh, election in 2012, winning the presidency. Okay, so David Axelrod basically wrote in his memoir, the president during the call was unsmiling and slightly irritated when it was over. You did a really, and why? <clears throat> well, because Romney really believed that he was going to win. Romney believed that he, this was in the bag. And so did a lot of Fox News, like Karl Rove, like oh, Romney by a landslide. And so it was a huge, huge surprise to Mitt Romney that he completely lost. His campaign fell off the rails ever since the 47% con comment. And yet he thought, I got this. This is in the bag. Like, I'm supposed to win. Like, how did this guy win? And so during this call, Romney said this. You really did a great job of getting out the vote in places like Cleveland and Milwaukee. Now, Obama said, in response to this, in other words, black people. That's what he thinks this is all about. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> I mean, pretty much what Romney thought. He, he, if you can remember, Romney called was talking to a bunch of fundraisers about how Obama was giving gifts to targeted groups such as uh, African Americans, Latinos, and millennial voters. Oh, you're just giving all this free shit out, and that's why you won. Nobody actually wants to, you know, elect somebody who's going to make the hard choices. You know, the hard choice of taking money from poor people and giving it to rich people. Now, that's a hard choice for you, but that's not a hard choice for me. I, I, I'm willing to make that. I'm willing to make that call. I'm willing to do that because, you know, it's the right thing to do. You, you take money from poor people, you give it to rich people. That's what we do. It's not so much of a hard choice for me, but apparently for some Americans. But when we actually give you access to health care and we actually try to take care of you and do things that will actually help you as people. Can't have that. That's, those are gifts. Those are gifts. And it goes along with the Republican criticism that all the Democrats do is give away freebies. Yeah, but you're giving away freebies too. If you're, if you're a Republican in the Republican Party, you are giving away freebies. You're giving away freebies to large corporations to get them to give you money so you can win your election. It's the same damn thing. Except Democrats are giving more, a little bit more freebies to regular people while they also give more freebies to the rich. Because both of them are giving out massive breaks to corporations. We know this. The difference between the Democrats and the Republicans is that the Democrats are trying to give stuff to the poor, too. They're at least trying. Where the Republicans are like, no, all of it goes to the rich. We want every single penny to go to the rich. So this whole thing about Romney being sore, like, oh, you, you really got the vote out by giving out free gifts. And that shows what Romney's really like. And that really shows... Of anything, like we had a problem during the election. Um, a lot of pundits would say we had a problem during 2012 of figuring out who Romney is. That is what Rom that is who Romney is. He has shown his true colors more uh, more times than 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 the media tried to report on. And a lot of it comes to uh, scorn for the for the, for the poor. The 47 percent comment. These comments about, oh, you're just giving gifts and everything, and you're targeting uh, places like Cleveland and Milwaukee, and you're trying to appeal to poor people. We don't like that. That's who the real Mitt Romney is. A guy who hates the poor and thinks that he was entitled to the presidency and was really pissy when he didn't get it. Yeah, that's the true Mitt Romney. He's a self-entitled... Uh, rich, out of touch, wishy-washy, flip-flopping, I'll do whatever it takes to advance my own agenda and fuck everybody else who gets in my way kind of guy.